Hello, this is Warner from Warner.tv, and today I want to talk a little bit about a new browser. Well, not really a new browser, but a browser that was updated to a new version. This is Safari. This is a browser made by Apple Incorporated. Safari runs on Windows and Mac OS X machines, and its version is now Safari 4 Beta. You've probably seen stories about Safari 4 on the web, and uh, I want to tell you a couple things that I, I found that to, to be fairly useful. Um, and some interface changes which I didn't particularly like too much but I'm slowly getting used to it now if you go to the site apple.com slash safari you can download it here it's a big giant button free download for Mac and PC it's Windows I don't know if it works on Windows Vista but Windows XP you should be fine and if you go through the website you can see all the 150 features of Safari I don't think it's that many but um, I'm gonna talk to maybe like two or three or four here now I'm gonna open a new tab just by hitting command or the yeah command <laughs> command T and you'll notice right off the bat here's a new feature called top sites and it kinda looks like uh, I, I wanna say it looks like the Google Chrome feature where it shows you your most visited sites when you open a new tab or open a new window and I think that's one of the things it mimics but it has a little twist something I really like down at the bottom left it's a literally a literally a little known feature here if you click edit you can remove and add different sites from the top site. That means that I can, this right here is Gmail, I can get rid of that, that's Google Reader, I can get rid of that, or as FriendFe, I can get rid of that. But you see that there's little pin icons, and I can pin them in place. That means that these three will never move no matter what I do. It's pretty cool, huh? So I can remove sites, like here's a FriendFe copy, I'll X that out, and it'll add another one. There's one of my lists in FriendFe, I'm on FriendFe a lot. And it just goes through and it adds more as it sees fit. Now, right now I got six showing. And this is good for me because I don't surf a whole lot of sites. I use Google Reader to do a lot of that. And it exposes me to various links. So you can go small, medium, or large. And depending on which one you pick, you'll see more sites. Now I chose small, and that's uh what, two, four, six, that's six, that's twenty-four different sites that I can see a quick thumbnail preview in top sites. I can go medium which I think is the default and let's wait for that to and that gives you 12 but uh, I found that large works for me I think 6 is great for me and this is something that a lot of people don't know about this is something you can rearrange you can move sites you can drag and drop you know you can move them around uh, I guess it didn't honor that pen section or that pen uh, setting like I told it to but uh, you can move sites around you can drag and drop and do what you need to do here's a uh, What's the name of the site? Playfire. I can move that over here next to ping.fm if I want. So this top sites thing, I, I highly encourage you to use it and play with it and customize it. Don't just leave it default. Don't just tell don't just let Safari tell you which sites are your favorite. You know, help it out a little bit. And these little stars here denote that the content, you see them at the top right? The content has been updated. So it constantly monitors these monitors these sites and lets you know when they've been updated with new content. Of course, these sites that I visit, like FriendFeed here, they're constantly updating by the second. So I don't really pay attention for most of my sites. But G, you know, Gmail maybe, uh, Google Reader maybe, those may be some of the ones. Now you know, you may notice, you may have noticed already at the top. If I open a new tab, you notice that the tab bar is now along the top. Google Chrome, anyone? Yeah, <laughs> looks a lot like Google Chrome because it, it it mimics that functionality. Now the tabs used to be below the address bar, and a lot of people went nuts. I mean, they went gaga over this. But there is a method. Uh, there's a method to there's a command line boolean value that you can set that will move the tabs back to their normal position. So if this can, this really bothers you, just go to Google and let's see, I'll search for Safari. Google knows a lot. Safari 4 beta tab, I don't know, uh, Boolean. And here you go, first hit. More hidden preference in Safari 4 beta. Let's go to Macworld, I know that one has it. And if you go here, it'll tell you a little Boolean value that you can set in your terminal here it is right here defaults write.com well write.com.apple safari pref name bool false and they got debug safari 4 tab bar is on top false so there's a, a bunch of debug settings that you can set to set the tab bar back to the way it was and I don't think this UI really fits into the Apple realm uh, something that I 
I, I wasn't crazy about. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is history. And this is more of, of eye candy here. So I'm going to go to uh, show all my history. And look at here. It's showing my history as it did before in previous versions of Safari. But yeah, wow, now it's in CoverFlow. Seems like Apple really loves CoverFlow. They probably need to pay the guy who developed it a whole lot more money. But here's here's my browser history and CoverFlow view. You can rearrange it. You can do different things. Just like you can make it small. You can make it bigger. Just like you can all over uh, Mac OS X Leopard. So CoverFlow is now in Safari history. Now these are just the things that stood out to me. Search works as well. So if I want to search for a friend feed, it'll do a real-time search for me. And uh, yeah, capture speed is me. Yeah, okay. But that that pretty much uh, exercised my disk a little bit, so my capture speed reduced a little bit. But uh, the search works just well. Um, and if you if you want to use Safari, if you find a problem, don't be afraid to use the bug icon up here and write a defect and let Apple know that you found a problem because that's how they fix them. I mean, they really rely on really rely on you to to take care of that for them all right this is born from born TV this is a quick overview of Safari 4 beta again it's for Mac and PC and uh, let's go back to the website here it's for Mac and PC I haven't used it on Windows just yet and uh, but I, I've heard some people you know I've heard mixed reviews some people can't stand the tabs so much so that they can't look past the functionality one thing you'll notice in Safari is that it has a brand new uh, a brand new JavaScript engine and uh, Apple is touting it as one of the fastest out there. But you'll notice it. If you use Safari, you will definitely notice it. And uh, it will be something that probably will be the first thing you notice. It's a pretty fast browser. All right, this is Borna from Borna.tv. Take care.